All right, here we are on a level 75 Lich. Now, this class, unfortunately, even had a skill taken away from it. It's in a really weird spot as far as the Acolyte's concerned because it's definitely the weakest out of the three Masteries available to Acolyte. But because of the addition of the Warlock Mastery Tree alongside a few of the skills, it is actually sitting in a really good spot. Here's a random Sanctuary Guardian, so we'll just So as soon as I saw this node, I thought that a Harvest Chaos Bolt setup would be amazing because that's a lot of hits and Harvest can do a lot of damage. And so what we do because we self cast it, we can afford the extra mana cost. So we have a ton of projectiles and then rip bloods as well because we stack up intelligence because it's still Lich and then Dexterity. Um, we only have 20 but it still procs a lot, like a lot, a lot. We just make Reperform give us a ton of damage and last a long time with this node. We make Harvest Coal, we make it deal more damage and give us more mana sustain and shred Necrotic Resistance in a large area. It doesn't actually do that much damage. It's very hard to make Reap and Harvest do a lot of damage without a two-hander melee weapon or something like that. And then we have Death Seal. Death Seal is insane with this build because of all the low life mechanics and sealing your health at 33% of your maximum health automatically activates all those low life mechanics. And then it also makes us go faster in a large, and it hits on a very large area, helping to shore up some of the straggler AOE ideas. And it also makes us do um, a ton more damage and take a ton less damage at the same time. And then we have Bone Curse. Now this might be our main source of damage, funnily enough. What we do is convert it to necrotic damage, we make it cast mark for death, and also this node makes Chaos Bolts refresh marked for death and bone curse, so all we have to do is cast it once. And then also armor shred chance, it gives us bone armor, and then just make it do more damage. Now that DPS meter is bullshit. It does so much damage. Uh, well, we can we can compare the damage here in a second. Oh, here's a here's a good test for it to show off. Well, so we'll just cast Chaos Bolts by itself, and you can see you know it's fine damage. But then once we turn everything on, and usually larger targets with bigger health pools have larger hitboxes and Chaos Bolts wasn't really hitting that many times right there. We'll be able to tell when we actually get to a, a major boss fight because it shreds. So something you want to do with this build specifically is stack cooldown recovery and attributes because you get a lot from dexterity and you gain a lot from intelligence. And you can see here 65 intelligence at level 75. We actually only have plus five intelligence right there. Oh, we're playing on hardcore. We should pay attention. So when we just play along, everything just kind of dies. As like, Everything dies even when we're not Death Seal, and Death Seal makes us do a lot more damage. Matter of fact, we can just walk around with Death Seal like this and kind of just go. And kind of just go. And then when it runs out, then we can attack and then, you know, do stuff then. The amount of damage that we can do is pretty disgusting, honestly. And our gear isn't even good. And if you want to watch our health pool as well, you can see, like, as soon as we take any amount of damage, we're instantly back up. And that's because we are playing the Lich class, and we have five points in the, what is it, the Soul Ma node. It gives us health leech, um, like, blanket every health leech in the game, so every piece of damage you deal. And then it increases leech rate, which also gives us more health more quickly, way more quickly. Now our wand is like fine. We actually have an amazing offhand catalyst. This thing is disgusting, but it's not making us do insane amounts of damage. We mostly just have a ton of like resistance and like defensive idols as well. We don't really have anything that good over here. And you can see like our bell like is fine. The two prefixes are trash. Like our gloves are garbage, our boots are fine, our relic is fine. Like it's none of it is really all that good. Like none of it is really all that good. 
and then we're dealing this much damage with it while we're missing so many things. So while you're not in Reaper form, you're ba you're basically going to be dealing like no damage whatsoever. Uh, if you just use Chaos Bolts, you're going to be dealing fine damage because of all the Rip Blood procs. And even though we don't have Rip Blood spec, it still does a decent amount of damage because again, it heal it, the amount that Rip Blood heals is based off of healing effectiveness, which scales off of intelligence and the amount of damage it deals also scales off of intelligence. But as soon as you use Bone Curse, things just kind of melt away and die. And then as soon as you use Death Seal, things evaporate into nothingness. So it's sort of, you just wanna, as soon as you put every piece together in the build, it really just, it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Now, the one problem I did have with this build was actually the uh, getting through the campaign, essentially. If you don't have any leveling gear or anything like that, it's actually kind of a tough time. The early game is not too balanced, in my opinion. Um, for a few masteries in the game, they just have they just have a really tough time getting through the game without any leveling gear specifically. Oh, one thing to note is that your endurance and your endurance threshold very important is because you want to have your endurance threshold be 33 percent of your health because that's what death seal puts your life down to you can see here i'm missing around 90 endurance threshold but i can get that pretty easily elsewhere you also want to max out your endurance because if you have max endurance and your endurance threshold is 33 percent of your health that 33% of your health, you can multiply it by about five, and that's your effective health against, uh, without any other modifiers, against all damage in the game. So this actually means that I'm at like 1500 health right now, rather than 382. The cool little mechanic there. There's also similar mechanics on the Druid Mastery on Prime List. But I mean, this one is just so much cooler, so like, what are you gonna do, right? <laughs> You can pretty much just stand still and all you have to do is make sure Death Seal comes back up as soon as you're ready to put it back up. But the amount of health that we're leeching is absolutely ridiculous. One of the biggest problems with this build is the mana though, but that's why we're using Harvest and that's also why we're using the new passive in Warlock in the bottom left here where it's chance per curse to gain mana on hit. Now we have Bone Curse and we also have Mark of Death counts as a curse, so that's two curses right there. Now let's show off a Heal Rock kill in the non-empowered timeline. Of course this is only level 75, the amount of damage it's dealing right now is actually really really high. It's some of the highest damage that I've ever dealt with the class. And it's all because of Chaos Bolt specifically, so. He just kind of melts away, man. Everything just kind of melts away. It's disgusting. You don't really have to pay attention to anything else around you because you're just getting so much health back. And the amount of defensiveness that Max Endurance gives you and Death Seal gives you is disgusting, man. It's disgusting. Now, I really did try to make... I really did try to make just... Harvest work. I thought Harvest was going to be our main source of damage in the build. It ended up being Bone Curse, right? It ended up being Bone Curse and then proccing it as much as possible, which you can see all those sides. You can see Harvest proccing a lot of the time. <laughs> That's funny. So if you look at the debuff bar for Heorot, he actually has max necrotic shred res uh, constantly. And then he's up to like, he was up to like 70 armor shred points at once. <gasps> what is it? Uh, ba -bum -bum. Oh, look at that. And boom, endurance threshold. This is funnily enough, one of the best blessings that we can get. This increases our effective health pool by probably around 20%. So we're 20% tankier now, essentially. That's kind of how the build works, is you get 50 endurance threshold, and now that our endurance threshold is almost the same as 33% of our max health, it's just OP. What a disgusting build. What a absolutely disgusting build. And of course, if you're wondering if it scales 
hard into the late game? It really does. What we would do here is take two points off there, we would take two points off of there, and we would get 50% crit multi. And because, and it's rare for Lich to be pure hits, but we are a hit scaling build, which means we can stack up as much crit and crit multi as we want. So we also have 50% crit multi there, so we're just gonna get 100% straight up. And then we have a ton of intelligence to still get right there, right there. Then we have more flat to get there, and then we have more um, and then we have more necrotic damage to get there. It's it's pretty nasty. And then there's other sources of damage we can get elsewhere, especially over here. If you're wondering if Lich is viable, even in the state that it's currently in, it definitely is. And it is fun as hell, and it's cool, and it's unique, and you're not gonna find a playstyle like this in any other game that exists. Hope you enjoyed.